SGA in the FIBA World Cup led Canada to the bronze medal. So he played eight games. He averaged 24.5 points per game. He was 54% from the field. So let's break down three different variations of how he scored. The first one's going to be his finishing moves. We're going to start with his veer finish. So on this straight line drive right here, he's going to pick up the ball. He's going to take a long step with his right foot into the body of the primary defender to take away that space and then jump off that right foot. Watch this between the legs explode move right here. So once the ball goes between the legs, he's going to explode off that back foot, a one-two hezzy. Now he's going to veer steps, which is slowing down your steps to create that body contact to then finish with his left hand. Next, we have his quick roll finish or his inside hand finish off one foot. So it's a great finish to sneak the ball past your primary defender or against a shot blocker. So in this example right here, there's the shot blocker. He drove past his primary defender. There's the rotating help defender shot blocker too. He's going to use an inside hand finish right there to sneak the ball in. He's pushing the ball in transition right here. He splits two defenders, creates that bump with that contact, and then finishes. This was a great ATO from Canada. So it's an elbow entry, and then it becomes a give and go where Shea can go either way. He cuts middle. He takes a dribble. Now watch this same foot finish off his left foot. He creates body contact with his right shoulder against the shot blocker and then extends the ball wide with his left hand. Next, we have his step through finishes, which is playing off two feet in the paint. He's going to one, two step and then step through with his right foot. Here's another example right here. He's going to drive to his left. He creates the bump right there. He's going to one, two step. You can see his eyes go up. Then he's going to show that pump fake and then step through right there. Use his shoulder to create the contact and then finish. Here's another example of a step through finish off this ball screen. He attacks the drop defender. He's going to tight wrap the ball to space. He pump fakes. Watch this great footwork and balance. Then he's going to step through and then finish right there with a touch floater. Now we have a cross step. Watch how ball and feet will hit at the same time. So both his feet hit the same time as the ball. As that dribble, his right foot is going to cross step over top. A high pickup right into a little floater or a runner. Now we have his spin move. Watch how he creates the bump right there against his primary defender, the defender trying to cut him off. He's going to immediately spin off right to space to finish. Here's another example. He's going to drive bump right there and then immediately spin off. Watch his left step drop step to get past his primary defender right there to then finish against that defender. Now we have a Euro step against a rotating help defender. So here's the help defender right there. He's going to go left, right, slow down Euro step, step all the way to the side to evade that defender and then finish with his right hand. Now we have his bump runner. So as you can tell, he's great at initiating contact with a bump. And you're going to see that a lot in his creating space in the mid range breakdown. So he's going to bump Cam Johnson right there. He's going to take one more step and then quickly shoot a runner off one foot for and one. The next part of the breakdown is creating space in the mid-range with Shea. So first we have his controlled hop fade. So in this example here, he's going to bump his primary defender. He's going to load off his inside foot to a quick hop right here, gain his balance, and then shoot a fade. It's a great move to use to get your balance in the mid-range. Now, in this example here, he's going to sweep through. You can see it's also late shot clock. He's going to go to what he's comfortable with. On this one dribble, watch his inside foot right there. He's going to load off that left foot to a controlled hop wide base right into a fade. He's going to start his drive to his left. He's going to load off that inside foot again. Watch his footwork off that right foot. He's going to go controlled hop to a wide base and shoot right over top of Mikhail Bridges. He loves initiating contact and then getting to two feet with a wide base. That's one of the key skills you see when he's shooting this controlled hop fade. 
Now we have his bump fade. He's going to turn the corner on this hand back. He's going to get contact right there. Now he's going to go one, two step into a wide base still right into a little fade over top. Next, we have his bump side step. So he's going to create his contact. He's going to load off that inside foot. Then he's going to sidestep laterally away from his primary defender to create space. Great action right here with the stagger twirl. Now, watch how he starts to drive downhill. He sees Rudy Gobert right here trying to play two. He's going to slow down his pace. Then he's going to create contact right there and then sidestep away to shoot that mid-range jumper. Late shot clock. It gets to seven right here. He's going to drive straight line to his right hand. You can see he bumps his primary defender right there. Then he's going to sidestep away. Great touch off the glass. Next, we have his bump step back. So on this drive right here, he's going to bump his primary defender, which is now the drop defender, with his right shoulder right there. Then he's going to load off that right foot and then step back to space. Here's another example. He's going to flip his hips. He's going to start his drive. He's going to bump his primary defender, load off that inside foot, go to a wide base right here to a little fade with that bump step back. Next, we have his bump same foot stop. So he's going to bump his primary defender right there. He's going to stop on his right foot quickly. Then he's going to get to space right here. You can see that little quick hop, that controlled hop to get his balance and then shoot right over top with a fade. Next, we have his bump spin move. So we saw his bump spin move finish. Now we see his bump spin move fade. He's going to bump right there, spin away from his primary defender. He's going to one, two step right into a fade over top against that secondary defender. Now, this was a huge shot in the game against Spain. It's going to be his between the legs snatch back. So he's going to stop on his right foot. The ball is going to go reverse between his legs. He's going to gain his balance with a little quick hop, which you see a lot when he shoots his creating space mid-range shots, gets his balance, and shoots a fade right over top. Next, we have his behind-the-back speed stop. He's going to drive to his right hand right here. After the second dribble, he's going to stop on his inside foot right there, control his steps right to a quick speed stop. The last part of our shade breakdown will be his transition rip series. So this is when he takes the ball from the perimeter into the low post. Now he's going to create space in the mid range. So it's very similar to that last progression and breakdown we just saw. So he's going to bump his primary defender right here in the low post. He understands and feels right here. He can go middle. So on this bump, he's attacking middle. He's going to load off his right foot off this bump. And then he's going to step back to space right there and shoot over top. Here's another example. He's going to sink dribble down into his primary defender. He's going to bump with that right shoulder. Then he's going to step back to space and shoot right over top. Now in this example right here, he's going to transition rip. Now he feels his defenders taken away middle right here. You can see his defenders walled up. He's going to bump. Then he's going to shoot a baseline fade. Now watch his right foot right there. It's going to turn to pivot. His left foot comes all the way around with a wide base. And he's going to shoot a fade right over that secondary defender. Now in this example here, he's going to transition rip with that spin dribble. He keeps the ball low. He's going to bump because his defender is walling up right here. He's going to go to his baseline fade. But watch his head turns quickly to recognize his defender is going to jump. So he's going to pump fake right there. He attempts to draw the foul, no foul called, but then he's going to step in and shoot a little touch shot right there over top. 